Hello and welcome back to the Techery. Today we are taking a look at Opera's gaming orientated web browser which I've been persuaded to install by my friends. This video will begin with the installation process and then after I have had a bit of time to look around I will tell you my first impressions. So let's get into it. To begin the installation process, go to your current web browser and open it. Head up to the URL bar and paste the first link in the description, opera.com slash gx. Hit enter, you'll be presented with the installation website and hit download. Now save this file to your downloads folder and you'll see it appear in the bottom left hand corner. Wait for it to download, click the little arrow and press open. Now the installer is opened, click accept and install and the web browser will go through its installation process. Opera will now launch with this nice sound effect and you will be presented on a hello and welcome screen. So if we begin this setup, you can choose your style from several themes here and choose your light or dark mode. I prefer dark, so I'm going to hit that. And you could also use a custom wallpaper if you wish, but I'm going to leave it with the default. So hit continue and add items to the sidebar that is just here so you can select these and they get added to the sidebar i'm going to stick with whatsapp discord and messenger as you can see they've appeared right there hit continue you can enable background music change the sounds of your actions and interactive elements below and test drive the effects You can take control with the GX control menu up here, the GX cleaner just here, and the ad blocker can be enabled if you wish. This app is also available on mobile, so go ahead and install it if you enjoy your experience on PC. And there you go, you are done. You are now presented on the speed dial menu. This is the home of Opera. You have your quick access shortcuts right here and you can add a new one if you wish. Once again on your sidebar you have GX control. This is a CPU and RAM limiter in order to maximize your performance in games you're currently playing at the same time as your browser being open. You also have GX cleaner. You can clean the assets that your web browser has installed over a time period speed up the web browser. Next we have Twitch, which you all know what Twitch does to see who's live, to never miss another stream again. Then you have your chats that you selected earlier, which can be set up by just clicking on them and logging in and agreeing to the terms and conditions. All very good. Next we have the player. The player allows you to listen to all your music at your fingertips all in one place, essentially. Next you have your search history and your extensions and settings. We'll head into that in a second. In the top you've got capture. You can select an area to capture, capture it, copy and close or cancel. Up here you've got quick settings which are much the same as standard settings but we'll go to that in a second. The bottom we have sidebar setup, which is where you can toggle all of these on and off. So if you go into standard settings, you'll be greeted at the top with selecting your profile, which we did earlier. In configuration, you can select any color and this will be reflected up here. Next, you can toggle wallpapers and you can select whatever you want from here. GX Lights is very interesting, as I have a Logitech compatible keyboard, it has detected this and enabled it, so the colour up here that you see is now synchronised with my keyboard, 
we have other general settings as well as security and privacy that's just standard these days appearance the sidebar we could went in that menu earlier change the search engine do all of your standard search engines then you've got some advanced settings such as passwords and the VPN now I've had a bit of time to experiment with the VPN and I've been unable to get it to connect to any server it just wouldn't work I enabled it and it just wouldn't work so uh, your mileage may vary with that up here in the top left you've also got the GX corner this is where all your deals for games are any adverts basically where you can find new games that you've never heard of you can select what platform you're on you can on all of these you can like and dislike the feature as well so very good and then you've obviously got a quick search up here So, the question is, would I use Opera GX? Well, personally, I do like Opera GX. I like the lighting style. I like how it synchronizes with my keyboard. I like the home screen, and I also do like the quick chats at the side. However, there are some things I dislike. The GX control, it just doesn't work as expected it's just lacking many features that I would expect it to have. This menu here would be good if you could customise it with maybe a news feed. That's something we're missing. But other than that, and the VPN not working as expected, pretty good. So I am going to continue using it for the future. And I may make a follow-up video in a year's time or something saying whether I still like it or not, whether I'm still using it. Well, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Please subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.